Hello world, it's Wagaman here. This is the beginning of my short adventures around one of the most mysterious states of Russia. Today we are going to the Republic of Tiwa. There are a lot of rumors about this area. People there are nationalists, shamanists and alcoholics, but we will try to understand whether those rumors are partly correct or not. Me personally just curious about the life there, so I'm not going to visit a lot of places of interest. I'm just going to follow the major road that begins here in Abakan. It, it creates the circle around the Republic. So the task for now is to get out from the city. I'm going to take a local train that runs once a day, only in the morning. And this is the perfect time to begin our hitchhiking session today. So this is our transport for the morning. 40 minutes right? just want to get out of city and then we will catch hiking. Let's walk straight down this railway for a couple of kilometers and we will be at our first hitchhiking spot. Well, the hitchhiking spot here is pretty well. There is a lot of space to pull over. Well, the first leaf has just been given on 70 kilometers, which is not that bad. It's still 280 to the capital city of Tuva, but I believe we will manage to do it. Наверное, в целом можно сказать, что после распада Союза в национальных республиках русского населения ну, в той или иной степени поубавилось. Ну, конечно, поубавилось многие, но просто это было психологическое, что страшно и непонятно, просто побежали. Побежали в Россию, надеюсь, что здесь их никто особо не ждет. Часть вернулась. Казахстан сейчас эти возвращались.
Well, the journey around Tiwa has gone wrong at its very beginning, because we have just entered the territory of the Republic and damaged two of our wheels. The front one has just been replaced. Back one, there is no second alternative wheel. Здравствуйте, у вас есть компрессор накачать колесо? Нету? Ладно, спасибо. I finally made it to Kazil, but unfortunately I made it to the wrong part of the city and therefore now I have to walk for approximately half an hour to the downtown. The Tage House suburbs looks like any suburbia in any Russian city, so nothing special. Wooden architecture in Kazil is exactly the same as in other places in Russia. I don't see any special like national ornaments or stuff it's pretty much the same this is a recreation area in Kazil, sort of the park city park uh, an artificial pond here on the map is located a beach but i don't see a single person here but i see a couple of uh, a couple of boats probably they are for rent here so some actions still take place in this area this is the major attraction of the whole city of Kizil, its Buddhist temple. We have just entered the main embankment of the city. It stays on the river of Yenisei, one of the biggest Russian rivers. Quite a lot of people on the embankment from various places of Russia. Most likely there is not only locals but also visitors from different cities because I see a lot of Russian faces basically. The monument that is called uh, Center of Asia. So it seems that Kazil is geographically located in the heart of the continent of Asia. Another interesting location in Kazil is this prayer wheel. It's massive, it's located straight in the downtown of the city and the pagoda, so you can basically walk this way. Oh, come on, and try to try to roll it. Here in Kazil, in the capital of Tuwa Republic, which is now the region of Russia, uh, is quite a lot of signs and sort of the small monuments to the celebration of a hundred of years of uh, the Tuwa People's Republic because Tuwa, as I told you, was the last region that was included into the territory of the USSR. Between 1921 and 1944 it was an independent country. The letters of Tuwan alphabet that do not exist in Russian alphabet or with this sort of line in the middle uh, can remind us uh, the letter E in German, sort of the O umlaut. This is letter N with sort of the uh, tail on the right side here. I don't know what is exact pronunciation and this is some something like the umlaut U. That was pretty much everything that I wanted to see here in Kizil. So somehow I have not been uh, cut, have not been roped 
So now I'm planning to get out from the city by taxi. This is the first time in this journey when I order a taxi. Well, I believe it's better than walking 12 kilometers. That is too much with my heavy backpack. That's why I decided to act as a regular civilian because the taxi is not that expensive. It's just like four bucks for the ride. Здравствуйте, я к вам. Багажник можно будет положить рюкзак? Ну, давайте назад, окей. Ага. Ладно, спасибо вам большое. Да, Вы еще экскурсию Давай, провели. Удачи. Ну давайте, хорошего вам вечера. Вам счастливо добираться. Ага. Well, I've just got to sort of the same spring, but it's actually source of drinkable water, public, free, pretty reasonable drinkable water. It has no special taste. Well, good one. So it seems that I will pitch my tent somewhere here, close to the river Yenisei. Hello world, it's Vagamad again. I pitched my tent straight in the steppe of Tuwa. The plan for today is to hitchhike to the westernmost town here in Tuwa. So not that much plans for Tuwa this time. This is just the first acquaintance with this region. Despite various natural and architectural sites in Tiwa, anyway, the most interesting object for me is this short stretch of the railway. This is actually the only railway in Tiwa Republic. This is actually the monument to the beginning of the construction of the railway uh, from the station of Kuragina, located between Abakan and Taishet to Tiwa. This construction should have begun in 2011, it was about to uh, connect the city of Kizil that is now has no railway with the like uh, railway network of Russia to so transfer coal from various mines located in in 40 and 50 kilometers ahead from this point somewhere there deep in Tuwa and also there was a perspective to extend this line further to Mongolia and connect it with the railway network of China but for some reasons this project was not realized you can even see the date when these rails were produced 20 11. The realization of this project was postponed at least to 2026, so in current political and economic situation it's highly unlikely that the construction will be resumed, or better say will be begun, because this is not the beginning, this is just sort of the monument. Aside from Buddhism, shamanism is also about Tiwa. There are three totems with the pictures of some animals. I can clearly understand that this is the camel, sun, some birds, yurtas. Sorala. Sorala. А я с Бурятии. Прикольно, классно. А вот я сказали, что вы. Пешком что ли ходите? Да не, не. Гостем приехал, посмотрел. А. Ну ладно, счастливо. Да, давайте вам хорошего Чего дня. Куда путь держишь? Я сейчас хотел проехать в Хакасию через вот эту дорогу, которая Акдаурак и дальше на Аскиз. О, ну, удачи. Давайте, а удачи. Great Russian River Yenisei originates actually here in Kizil, because here is a place where bigger and smaller Yenisei flows into each other and create one river, just Yenisei. We are on the outskirts of Kizil and this is 200 kilometers to the first checkpoint in this journey. So the hitchhiking spot is pretty reasonable, good position, cars don't run fast, so let's hope that hitchhiking works in this area. The first driver has just given me a lift to the village of Ust Elegest. Here is a prayer wheel, massive prayer wheel, that we can try to roll while it's massive. Here is the bell, but for some reasons there is no like element that gives the sound. This is the main street of the village. The village itself is now relatively deserted. It's Sunday. Some dwellings are in poor condition but some are not like this one, so 
it's not that bad here definitely and wonderful picturesque background also complements the scenery Можно с вами проехать в сторону Чадана? Сколько по пути? Не, не, Чадан, не. Шаванар до Шаванар. А, понял. Обратно. Понятно. Здравствуйте. Можно с вами проехать в сторону Чадана? Сколько по пути? По Чадану, да? В сторону Чадана, да. А что ты на, на работе собираешься, да? Да нет, я вот автостопом еду по ТВ. А? Автостопом еду по ТВ. Это у вас там бараны, да? По деревням развозите? In accordance with old Tuvan tradition, the owner of the house to whom we delivered sheep invited us for a cup of tea. Both outside and inside, the Tuvan Izba turned out to be the most ordinary Russian house. We were served traditional Tuvan salty tea with milk and herbs. After a little conversation with the locals, we went further towards the western part of the region. A welcoming sign of the town of Chadan suddenly appears on our way. This place is notable for the fact that the current Russian Minister of Defense, Sergei Shoigu, was born here. There are not so many famous natives in Tuva, so I would assume that Shoigu in his hometown is at least respected, given that there is a street named after him. Nevertheless, by the appearance of Chadan, I can't say that a person of such a high public position is related to the town. <laughs> Devorak. This is the westernmost city in Tuva Republic. The next settlement is located in Hakassia, so another republic. Therefore, I'm just walking a couple of kilometers to the intersection of roads. From there, I will carry on hitchhiking towards Hakassia, and that means that our hitchhiking adventures around Tiva are almost over. I haven't seen any criminal. People were quite friendly towards me. I visited some provincial house in a village here, so everyone was quite hospitable. Two ones appeared to be great people, as Mongolians, as Burats, as most of nations in the world. 
I'm currently being given a lift by police officers who work at sort of the police station here on this road so it's kind of challenging to film from their car and therefore I asked them to stop here and this is such a wonderful location it's just a mountainous river in western Tuwa we stopped at a scenic viewpoint with the memorial to something or somebody and then we got to the police checkpoint. I've just been given a lift by police officers to this sort of the police station on the road. It's interesting that this road is now entirely closed. So they basically check all of the cars driving into Tiva Republic and from there so it's kind of easy to hitchhike from this place because firstly the traffic here is quite low so there are more chances that the car will stop and basically the car will stop anyway because it will be checked by police officers this place itself is so picturesque look on the background there are mountains here is the river so even in case if i fail to hitchhike from here somehow today i will be able to pitch a tent in pretty picturesque area Begun. Here is a railway platform and from here I'm going to take a local train tomorrow in the morning towards Kuzba. Then to hitchhike to Novosibirsk because Novosibirsk is going to be my major uh, <coughs> checkpoint for the next couple of days. My experience in Tuba appeared to be exceptionally positive because uh, all of the people that I met there were friendly towards me. So that was all good and I'm glad that I spent a couple of days in such a wonderful republic. So great job, Tuvans. 